Today I will present what Braintech provides to solve the payroll for Switzerland in Udo. Your takeaways will be, first, if you are evaluating or already using Udo as a business in Switzerland, you will see a fully compliant payroll solution for integrated in Udo. Second, if you are an Odoo partner operating in Switzerland as well, you will find out how you can provide a wider range of functionalities to your customers. Third, if you are developing an application for Odoo, you will find out how it could be possible to license your application and provide it to Odoo partners for their customers. First, let me introduce myself. I am Nathaniel Leutenecker and since 2015 I have helped my customers to implement Odoo successfully. I am also the product owner of the HR payroll app at Braintech. Who is Braintech? A company that was founded in the year 2000 in Switzerland. Braintech is an Odoo Gold partner in Europe. We have won multiple times the award from Odoo last time in 2020 for being the best partner in Europe. We are also nominated in 2021, so fingers crossed that we won the award. We provide services around the do not only in Switzerland, Germany and Austria, but in countries such as the US, UK and China. Braintech is close to our customers by having offices across Europe at nine locations currently. More than 50 employees provide full Odoo services from consulting, project management, to training and customer care. In the first part, I will briefly explain the challenge with payroll in Switzerland and how it is solved by standardizing the data exchange. I assume this situation is similar in other countries as well. In the second part, you'll see it in action. I will point out the parts Braintech had to add to provide the functionalities to become compliant with Swiss regulatory standards. In the third part, I will tell you about the challenges we faced during the years of application development. What do you have to take into account if you decide to develop your own app? Finally, in the fourth part, I will tell you what to expect in the future around Braintech's Swiss payroll app. Let's start with the challenge, the pain we solve. As a payroll responsible, you know it so well. Besides your daily work like employee data changes, salary updates, payroll creation, every now and then you'll have to fill forms and provide lists to upload or send to different authorities and institutions. In Switzerland, this is the tax authority, which wants to know the yearly salary data, the state social insurance, which wants to know the insured salary, private insurance companies, for example, to insure your employees against accidents, and the statistics office, which collects your data for their sector and country statistics. To deliver this information, you have to extract your data from your software solution and upload or fill in the data in a form provided. This process is tedious and time consuming. That is why an association called SwissTech defines standards for electronic data exchange of all the partners involved. SwissTech acts as the distributor of the data received by the ERP software. SwissTech ensures that the exchange is done securely and automatically. They also route the response by the end receiver back to the ERP software. To be able to exchange data through SwissTech, you have to become SwissTech certified. Let's head over to the demo. I will show you how we extended and improved the Odoo standard payroll app. We added all the necessary elements to comply with the regulatory requirements and to become certified by SwissTech. Since our app is a Swiss localization, it is only available in Swiss languages. Therefore, you will see German terms during my demo. I will first explain the three most important parts related to the configuration, and then we will create a payroll 
and transmit several reports with the help of our implementation to connect to SwissTech. Everything is accessible by the Employees menu. The SwissTech menu contains the necessary configuration and data for SwissTech. The first central element of how payroll accounting works in Switzerland is called Salary Head or in German Lohnarten. Let's open the Salary Head we will use later during our demo. The salary heads are the base of the computation of the payslip. We see the salary head for the various expenses. Here we see the financial account to be used when expenses are paid to our employees. SwissTech requires the payroll solution to be traceable at any point of time. We implemented the salary heads with complete sets of historical data. Every data related to payroll is connected to a date. Even a single change in the name of a salary head will be recorded. This means that the computation in the past or the future will consider the exact settings valid at that time. Also reports at any date can be produced and will show you the exact situation at that particular time. Let's change it by 1st of June 2021 to another account so you can see how the history is updated. The second element for Swiss payroll is set on company settings. We extended the basic configuration to configure the salary head association and to activate specific features and default values. This can be as simple as if you can choose the employees manually for the payslip to create several payslips for certain groups or if by default you want to pay a 13 salary in November instead of December. It's also here where you set up computations like automatic accruals for insurance premiums. In the company settings we had also to create a yearly parameter set. On the yearly parameter we track changes related to the situation in this year. This can be percentages for contributions to social insurances but also settings related to the yearly salary statement in German Lohnausweis. This statement and also the monthly payslip can be made available to the employees online. Everyone herself can download it, no need to send it anymore. The yearly company settings are then inherited from the employee and can be adapted to the employee's situation. Let's have a look at an example of a setting on the company year. In Switzerland, employees receive an allowance for their children. The settings are done for each division, also known as the cantons. Here we see the settings for the canton of Bern, which pays 230 each month for a child until 15 years old. We will see these settings to be taken into account when we have a look at the employee and afterwards at the payslip within the payroll. Let's switch to an employee. If an employee is not living in Switzerland, he might be taxed directly on the payslip. This is called tax at source, in German Quellensteuer. Because of the full historical data, I can make settings for the past or the future and the system will either correct past computations or consider the settings in future calculations. Corrections are sent automatically to the authorities by connecting through SwissTech. An example of such a change would be that the employee gets married next month and therefore he would be taxed by another tariff. The system checks and warns the user based on the tariff data also available in Odoo.
Now have a look at another employee. She has a child and she is entitled to receive child allowance. The time calculations are done automatically according to the settings on the company as shown before. The third crucial element in the computation of the payslips is the contract. Here the payroll responsible can easily change the contract at the time something changes. This means for example, if I get today the message that this employee has to receive a fixed amount for her home office expenses, I can just make the change right now and the system will consider it in the future and in the time range defined. You see that changes can be done at any time but will be considered at the correct point Let's see this in action. I prepared a payroll and I will now compute the payslips for each employee. By a click on the button, I can follow the workflow from the first computation through validation steps to the creation of the payment file. On the details of the payslip, we can see the positions created because of the child and the home office allowance. We also find all the other computations in detail, for example the percentages for the state social insurance. During the process the journal entries are created as well. Our system can be set to book directly into the financial accounts but also to only create batch bookings. That's how to keep payroll and accounting completely separate. No accountant will see any details related to the salaries. In the printed payslip, every necessary information for the employees are shown. And as mentioned before, it can be downloaded from the system by the employees themselves. Head over to reporting. In HR reports, we find a huge range of reports payroll responsible needs often. For example, the yearly account of an employee. It's also this data, which our partners, the authorities and institutions mentioned in the beginning, want to receive. One thing could be the report of the tax at source. A new report is easily created and by clicking the buttons it follows the workflow defined. By using SwissTech reports, the payroll responsible can easily create the reports needed and start the transmission as soon as she has checked and approved the results.
all this shown is how we solved the compliance issue with Swiss payroll in Switzerland. It was a very short extract of some parts and there are many other features and integrations available. For example, the integration of Swiss timesheets to also comply there with Swiss laws and regulations. If you like to hear more about it, don't hesitate to get in touch. In the third part, as announced, I will point out six challenges we faced during the development of such a localized application. First, we want our app to be up to date, and this means also up to the newest version. Every year, we release our Swiss payroll app in a new version, depending on the changes done by Odoo, the effort varies. So keep in mind, if you develop your own app, you have to migrate it every year to be up to date. Second, the local regulatory policies might change. In our case, we just changed the computation of the tax at source to the latest policy required by 1st of January 2021. Not only was that a big effort, but also we are providing this to older Odoo versions. So keep in mind that you have to backport new functionalities to older Odoo versions. As the creator of the app and also as we have accumulated a huge amount of knowledge regarding Swiss payroll, we are ha happy to support our customers over many years. Fourth, SwissTech itself upgrades their technical infrastructure. This means that we had to adapt to these changes as well. So keep in mind your environment can change, your partners can change the technical requirements and therefore you have to update your app as well. Fifth, working with our solution, our customers request new features which help to make their work even better. So keep in mind, you have to invest every year a certain amount in implementing new features. Sixth, to stay certified, we have to go through a recertification process which allows SwissTech to be sure that all certified companies can provide a sophisticated solution for Swiss payroll. You may be wondering, how can I benefit from all of this and what is in for me? On the timeline shown, you can see that in 2020, we have changed our pricing model to subscription. Since then, you can use our app for a price per month for each payslip computed and transmitted. To do this, we extended our app to be able to cope with remote license keys. You'll also see the planned recertification during 2022 and 2023. And of course, we release as before, every year the new version of our app. If you think that our solution fits with you as a user of Odoo, as a partner of Odoo, go to the website hr-suite.ch or get in touch with the contact possibilities shown on the screen. If you are a developer and interested in the solution we created to manage our licenses for our apps, feel free to contact us as well. I thank you for your time and attention and hope to hear from you. Together we can solve the needs for Swiss payroll. Have a great time and a great experience. Hello everyone and welcome to the Q&A. Uh, thank you Nathaniel for the interesting talk. For me it's really interesting as an Odoo employee to see how our partners uh, handle our software. Um, and I also see that we have a couple of questions in chat, so let's get straight into it. Um, the first question oh. is, um, is this a free or a paid module with the Swiss localization in Odoo? This is um, uh, to be paid additionally, so it's based on Odoo standard but we have a pricing plan which considers how many employees per month you compute the payslip for. Um, additionally, we'll have to calculate also um, the support 
starting and implementing the app, configuring the app. So if you're interested in the specific price, um, please contact me or us. Um, also, as you have seen in the talk, there is a, the website hr-suite.ch. Mm -hmm. There is a contact form. Feel free to contact us and we will get back to you. Yeah. Yeah, I also see that we have another Dutch person in chat because someone else asked how much will this app cost? Uh, so <laughs> you can figure it out there. Um, then we have a question. Can you handle the payroll of multi-company with, uh, yeah, with your application? Yes, that's uh, perfectly feasible. So the app is multi-company capable and um, we have experience with that as well. Okay. Um, I see maybe a more Switzerland specific question. Uh, can new employees be registered or deregistered with the AHV? Yes, the AHV is the institution for um, like a rent for older people and you have to register every employee there and this can be done also automatically uh, via the app. Okay. Um... Yeah, so we have a specific question about how to add uh, the data of the salaries of your em employees using external sources. Um, so, for example, individual in in uh, individual individual deductions by our industry association. Uh, can you maybe tell a little bit about how that works? Yes, um, as you've seen in the in the demo, you can add to the contract of the employee additional data. If you have to da do that regularly, which can be this case of uh, individual deductions every month or every quarter or whatever, um, we have another app which is called File Data Importer. There was a talk yesterday, I think, by my colleague, and you can use this or we use this together with the payroll to import such uh, data. Is it on monthly, is it on quarterly or maybe yearly basis? It's easily possible. Okay, I mean, I now know which talk I'll be looking back tonight. Um, so we have the question, um, how are hourly wages considered in your integration? You can configure the system to uh, consider hourly or the timesheets reported. This can be attendance or can be um, project timesheets and they can be considered during the payslip computation and it's also possible that you uh, can add a deduction for holiday. This is also in Switzerland necessary that you pay your um, employees by hourly wage, also the holiday compensation. Mm -hmm. This can be individually configured, so you can also compute that automatically. Okay. And this can also handle the payroll of 500 different employees, right? No problem. No problem. That's what we like to hear. <laughs> um, of course, also because you're in Switzerland, and thank you for uh, for joining us from Zurich. Uh, I also see questions about whether it's available in French and in Italian. It's actually available in French, and um, it's no problem to translate it to Italian. But um, until today, we haven't had Italian uh, translation yet. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and I have a very uh, interesting question about data security. Uh, how do you ensure that this is confidential to your own database and that other Odoo users cannot access uh, the information that you put into the system? So it's basically restricted by um, standard Odoo security settings, of course. Mm -hmm. And there is also this additionally restriction keeping the bookings or the computation completely separate from the accounting until a certain point. So when you, in the end, you have to have financial bookings in your accounting and they are transferred only in a summarized way. So the accountant cannot see what actually is going on in the payroll. They see only the, the summary of the bookings. So this together, make sure that, um, that you have only the people you want to see the salary data, seeing the salary data. Okay. Also, since the last version, we do um, split HR employee from public and private. Mm -hmm. That also makes it more reliable to split those data as well. 
yeah or to keep that separate and to secure this separately yeah i can imagine that the salaries can be a touchy subject um i also have a question about tax at source uh, which uh, sol also recognizes is a complicated topic um is there support for this in the calculations in your integration yes the tax at source is um, computed automatically and the the very good or nice and always surprising thing to me is that it works very well also if you do corrections in the past, which is kind of difficult because you have to consider um, the state of the past. So, but as mentioned in the talk, everything has the history in the system. So the system can at any time determine what was the state at that point. So if you change, for example, the tax at source um, two months late, the system will compute your correction and will send the correction automatically to the institution. Okay. Uh, yeah, thank you so much for your talk in general, making this, uh, this complicated topic, of course, a bit more accessible. And thank you for your answers in the Q&A. Um, I also see if there's any further questions, you can uh, join the breakout room Q&A session. Um, yeah, so thank you so much for your answers, Nathaniel. And uh, yeah, thanks for uh, having me. Hopefully have a nice day with the rest of the OXP. Thank you.